Welcome to the Geek Static. This is a Star Wars Expanded Universe book review of Republic Commando Triple Zero. Star Wars Republic Commando Triple Zero, book two in the Republic Commando series, written by best selling author Karen Travis. This expanded universe tale takes place during the Clone Wars and the Rise of the Empire era, 22 years before the Battle of Yavin. Before I get into my overall thoughts, I'm going to give a brief summary. I would like you to also comment down below. Let me know if you have read this book, if you have read the Republic Commando series, and what your thoughts are on the Republic Commandos. Eight years before the Battle of Geonosis, friend of Jango Fett and fellow Mandalorian Cal Skarata arrives on Kamino. Upon learning that six clones were scheduled for termination, as they did not meet the Kamonian... Kamino Cam, 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 people. Kaminoan? Kamoan? Kamoan. Kaminoan? Ka I just can't do it. Anyway, these six clones, they were too defiant, too unruly. They did not meet the proper standards. Cal Skarata steps in, seeing that they're going to be terminated or killed, and says, I'm going to take them. He raises them to be unique ARC troopers with an understanding of their Mandalorian heritage. Flashing forward a year after the Battle of Geonosis, Cal Skarata is hired, along with Omega Squad, Delta Squad, and a few Jedi, to track down and terminate a Separatist spy cell on Coruscant. The unit is fractured by conflict. There are some issues between the two squads. Attain, she is back. She is reunited with Omega Squad. Her and Darman fall in love. Attain becomes pregnant, truly defying the strict ways of the Jedi Order. Now let's get into my overall thoughts, and be sure to hit that thumbs up, or the thumbs down, if you don't like my stuff. This is where I'm going to start losing folks or your thumbs up is going to suddenly turn into a thumbs down. Soon after I started this story, I was already over it. My goodness, folks, I was bored out of my mind with this book. Everything that was good about the first one was absent in this one. I may not be the biggest fan of action, uh, but turning page after page after page of boring, dull, mediocre dialogue, I would just have to turn back to the front cover to entertain myself and just look at the cool picture. I believe Karen Travis did a fine job with the character development in the first book, Hard Contact. In this story, we were lacking that quite a bit. However, Cal Skarata, he was an interesting character, but he alone could not save this story. Attain really annoyed me a lot in this story. She is constantly reminding the troops that they're not expendable. They're special. They mean something. And I really think that she's just reassuring herself of that rather than really meaning it. Like she's trying to set some extra standard on herself to separate herself from the rest of the Jedi Order or the Republic. I don't know. We get to learn a lot about the Mandalorian culture, which is pretty cool, but also pretty weird at times. Like, it's okay for Mandalorians to commit adultery when the couple is separated. Like, not because there's a separation in the relationship, but they're separated by distance. It's okay for them to have an affair, as long as they raise the child that comes from that affair. That's just... Stupid and random. The Mandalorians define themselves by culture and behavior. And I'm sorry to say this, but uh, I did chuckle. I laughed out loud by some of this behavior. Um, they break out into a song and dance. It's a tribal type thing. A war is going on and these outcast troops are breaking out into a musical. What I'm about to mention contains a slight spoiler, but at this point, who really cares about those, right? The love story between Darman and Attain. Fine, whatever. I don't have a problem with that. Interesting choice, though, that Attain decides to keep such a massive secret from Darman, not letting him know that he is going to be a father, so much for letting the troopers know that they're special and that they mean something, right? I know she's going to try to keep it a secret so it doesn't interfere with his fighting and his survival rate, all that kind of crap. But, like, let him know that his legacy will continue. He does truly mean something to her. But there are some others that do know this little secret, and uh, curious to know how that's going to play out in the future. I am absolutely looking forward to the next book in this series. My fingers are crossed with hope that I'll appreciate it much more than this one. So do I recommend that you pick up this book? Nah, just look up the spoilers and move on. So for the rating of Star Wars Republic Commando Triple Zero, I give it a C-. And that does it for this review. Check me out across all social media at TheGeeksAddict and TheGeeksAddict.com. Remember to let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed this book. Have a good one.